The next exam objective is called Identify the differences between deterministic and non-deterministic functions. The difference between a deterministic and a non-deterministic function is pretty easy. A deterministic function always returns the same result given the same input parameters and the same state of the database, while a non-deterministic function does not necessarily produce the same result even when called with the same input parameters and the same state of the database. We'll not go through the entire list of built-in functions to tell you which one is deterministic and which one isn't. Instead, we'll give you a couple of examples based on the functions we've already covered. After that, for most functions, you can figure out for yourself if the function is deterministic or not. In the third module, when discussing data types, we'll cover an example, a function for which it is not immediately, immediately clear that it is non-deterministic. All of the string functions are deterministic. We've already seen some of these functions, such as left, right, upper, and lower. The function is null is deterministic as well. Another example of a deterministic function we've covered is date add. We've also seen a non-deterministic function, get date. This will return a current date and time, which is a different value each time you run it. A special case is the function rand. This will return a random number between 0 and 1. Try executing this function a couple of times. It'll produce a different number every time. Still, it's not completely non-deterministic. RAND takes one optional input parameter, the seed. If you execute this function several times with the same seed, it will return the same value every time. For example, try this. The reason behind this is that the function RAND produces a pseudo-random number, which isn't really random. SQL simply has a list of numbers and will rotate through that list, giving you the next number on the list each time you call a RAND function without an input parameter. When you call RAND using a seed, SQL will simply pick the pseudo-random number in a position in the list that is calculated based on the seed. And the next time, it'll give you the next number. Really random numbers are really hard to do for computers, and SQL is no exception. So to recap, a deterministic function always returns the same result, given the same input parameters and the same state of the database, while a non-deterministic function does not necessarily produce the same result, even when called with the same input parameters and the same state of the database.